Welcome to Charge Solutions Inc. We are now going to demonstrate the app learn mode versus the manual learn mode. Manual again was pushing the learn button for about 15-20 seconds. Okay this time we're going to do the learn with the app and show you how to put that over into another device. All right so this is the setup here. Bottom uh, we're, we're labeling as um, box one and then two, three, four up to the top. And notice we do not yet have the the um, barrel, or in this case it's a USB-C plugged into the uh, laptop. Okay, so it's configured ready for a learn. So let's go ahead and open the app. All right, so we haven't done any cabinet creation. We'll do that in another video. We'll hit, go over and hit the scan button. Okay, so we have four units uh, that are blinking blue LEDs, meaning it is, all of them are ready for a Bluetooth connection to the app. With the, uh, the blue uh, LED uh, goes solid, that means it is connected to the app. So which one of these is what? It's uh, hard to tell just by looking at them, but we do know that the version number are all the same, 4.4a. So RCI V version 4.4a, they're all updated to the latest as of this video record. So we're going to figure out which box number one is by pushing the, um, the learn button. If we just push it briefly and let it go, it actually flashes the green LED once, in this case, because it's in profile one. If we push and hold the, the learn button for about two seconds, 1,000, 2,000, and release it, the red green is flashing back and forth, and up to the top, we bubble up and we're going to click on it. So it bubbles the, uh, the one that you're trying to identify at the top. So there we go. It is uh, now we are communicating with that first box and the LED on that first box, it went uh, from flashing blue to solid blue. So that's another confirmation on what box you're talking to. <clears throat> so the default, the factory defaults uh, are basically what's going on here. It's just measuring. Okay, so at the top here, that's the current flow out of the box, or actually through the box into your device. And since we don't have anything plugged in other than the uh, the uh, brick, that uh, the charging brick, it's uh, indicating no current flowing, and it tells you the state, uh, the approximate battery level, which I will talk more about that on a on a technology video. Active profile number one, we can have up to six. We'll, we'll show you that in a second. You can have different uh, names for the uh, the drawer, the cabinet, building area, the approximate temperature of the box, line voltage, that uh, approximate line voltage, some user notes, and the RCI box name. That name is the Bluetooth broadcast name that is very useful to change. Uh, that um, is uh, something that we can label for identifying both the cabinet and the drawer that the box is in. We'll do that in another video, but uh, uh, right now we're going to focus on learning. So for learning, we're going to go <clears throat> first over there to profiles. And in this case, we're actually going to um, hit number three because we're just going to uh, demonstrate what we could do. Hit the little, the um, pencil on the right, and then we're going to relabel a V110 to Lenovo. Okay. Lenovo, all right. Okay, and so just changing the name so we can keep track of what we're doing. Then we go backwards, and then we hit the um, scroll up, or right, scroll down, and now you hit need to hit the red button twice to send it to the box. So one, two, Okay, I not fast enough. One, two. Okay, and yep, save success. All right, and the the box actually flashed the LED green three times. All right, so now now that uh, we've selected which profile we're going to learn, we're going to go over to configure. Okay, bottom configure there. All right, so this is where you can change the area name, building cabinet, drawer. And then the RCI broadcast name. Again, we'll do that in another video. 
Uh, and then down here, the, you have RCI control. Okay, that is, we're going to go and hit the start learn. We have options of various things, but right now we'll hit the, the start learn. Okay, and that's not at the box yet. You have to hit the double tap there, but for um, just for the sake of, um, of uh, keeping the box on for a long time, uh, we're going to take this slider. They come factory default. They'll stay on for an hour after they boot up. Uh, after an hour, they, the Bluetooth shuts off. Okay, so you have to power it up, power cycle it to get that back on. So instead, we're going to slide that all the way to the right. And excuse that uh, interruption. And so it'll always be on. Okay, and then now hit, hit the double tap. All right, and now I'm looking at the box. The red LED is flashing on and off, on and off, uh, indicating that now you need to wait for it to measure the quiescent current. In fact, we'll go uh, all the way back over here um, and see it should, yep, min learning. So that's it's learning the minimum current that's going in. All right, now it's flashing green, uh, max learning on RCI state there. So now it's saying, hey, now plug the the um, uh, the barrel, or in this case the R, the uh, USB C into your device, so it can learn the maximum charge current for it. All right, so let's let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, all right, <clears throat> just plugged it in, and it takes about uh, about two minutes for it to learn. So we are going to do a pause on the video, and. Uh, I, come back after it's finished learning. All right, so now it's learned the uh, the current. Okay, you can see the max current is pegged out at uh, close to 100% there. All right, and so the again, the um, learn process is now finished because the LED on the uh, the box is, is um, red and it's back to measure mode. So um, that is, uh, that's all good. All right, so that is the learn process. Now what we're going to do, we are, we're going to go back over to profiles, and we are actually going to save this profile to the um, to local device. So uh, what we want to do is make it easy on ourselves. hit the, um, the pencil, okay, and, and uh, keep these um, checked, okay, so that uh, when we load it, uh, that it will actually be be um, registered in the device. So we're going to say save, and we'll call this, uh, let's call this Lenovo Profile. Lenovo Profile, there we are. We'll say uh, OK, saved. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to um, uh, back out all the way to the scan. All right, you can see that's uh, still charging. It tells you what's going on there. And we're going to unplug the power from the RCI box, the 120 volt power, and we're actually going to plug it in uh, to another device. Okay, but before we do that, let's say, wow, well, let's go to say uh, box number four. Again, how do we find out what box is number four? Okay, we're going to push and hold uh, the very top box for like two seconds. 1,000, 2,000, and it should bubble up to the very top. Let's see. Okay. Yep, there it is. All right, the very top. Okay, so <clears throat> it is... Um, all right. So this is... The profile is the factory default. So what we're going to do... We're going to load from device the Lenovo profile. Say OK. All right. And that is, let's just go ahead and check. Now, these check boxes have to be checked if it's going to be sent to the device. If those are unchecked, the device would not um, uh, store them. All right. So now we'll hit a double, double tap. OK. Save success. And the box number four actually flashed the green LED three times, saying it's in profile number three. All right, so now we'll go back one. And now we're actually going to, uh, this should change an active profile. There it is. Oh, active profile Lenovo. There we are. Now we're going to plug the, the uh, power 
into box number four. All right, we just plugged it in, and it should start. Yep, current starting to go up. Okay, and uh, approximate battery level is falling uh, because as the current goes up, it's indicating that the battery is um, is depleted. So there we go. So that's an easy way to take the learn device on one box and put it into another. Uh, that's the end of this video, and and our next video we will um, uh, go over some other details for uh, the app. For instance, we're going to change the name.